Yo, what is up, you two? My name is Aaron, and today we are playing some Darius and Drac round 63 player gameplay. I played with Ham Tyler and QB Cam Newton. Very good game. You guys saw this just the other day. My Xbox randomly cut off or restarted, and this is the gameplay, but. This video is going to be how to get good, or how to be better, or simply put, how to get high rounds in Call of Duty Zombies. Now, it's simple, and I can run through some, you know, different things that you can do, tell you to play solo, but really, I'm going to show you, or tell you, how you can do this right here. How you can get a 3 player 60, or a 2 player 60, or just a solo 60, and it boils down to this, time. You need to have time to play this type of game, and it can't just be like, oh yeah, I have until 7 o'clock tonight, and then I'm going to get off. Now, depending on whenever you start the game, that might be enough time, but for most, that is not enough time. You need to be looking around at least 8 hours to play. Now, that doesn't mean your game's going to last 8 hours. You could play one, and it lasts an hour, and then another, and it lasts 30 minutes, but you need to have enough time to play this game to 63 took around six hours I think it was about five to six hours and that's a pretty good size game that's actually a pretty long game for 60 because I'm not used to playing three player I always play two player and I would say a two player 60 is close to three and a half to four hours uh, just depending on how fast you're playing now this right here the strategy is what makes the difference uh, whether it is uh, a six hour game, an eight hour game, a 24 hour game, your strategy needs to be solid. The best thing to do is to stay as close to the other people in your game as possible. That's why we're all right here. You don't want someone running up top, you're running down here. It just slows the game down and it makes that time that you do have drag out. So the closer you are together, uh, if one person's shooting, that's always the best thing. Now, let me tell you about the strategy right here. We've actually came up with this. We were just playing around, and I think it works out really, really good. It's a great three-player strategy. So, you have the wolf bow, lava bow, fire bow, and the lightning bow. And it goes in that order. So, what you're seeing right here is me with the wolf bow killing zombies. And it's always good to have, uh, I'm feeling lucky cash back and the best is the alchemical at, at the sea i honestly i don't even know what it's called it's not that maybe if i see it i'd be able to pronounce it but i always call it alchemical so just go with it so always have ammo is basically what i'm saying and you start with the wolf bow you just use all your ammo kill as fast as you can you don't need to hoard them up you just need to kill then, once you get down to about, you know, 10, 15 bullets, you just need to have enough to save yourself. Then you send out the lava boat, what's happening right here. And the same deal. If you have alchemical, you just keep staying out there, and you keep going as long as you can until you're down to about 10 to 15 bullets, and then you make your way all the way back just so you can, you know, like I said, save yourself if something ever happens, like uh, the fire bow goes down or a lightning bow goes down. You need to have enough to kill the zombies and pick them back up. So you let the fire bow go out, and then it's the lightning bow. Now the difference between the wolf and lava to the lightning is that the wolf and lava pretty much shoot whenever they can. They just keep shooting and they keep killing. Now the lightning bow, since it will kill more zombies, you need to run them a little bit. You need to do a C shape right here, and I would recommend going somewhere where your back is free and they can only come from in front of you. So. You just shoot as much as you can with the wolf and lava, and then the lightning bow needs to be white player because the zombie pool, if not, they just keep running past you and it can get you down very easily. So whoever the white player is, give them the electric bow and the other two people or one person. If you're doing this solo, I would not recommend this. This is primarily for a three player, and if you were to do a four player, the person with the void bow would not have this, would not have a turn where you run and kill zombies. They would just sit back here and keep shooting their void bow until they ran out of ammo because there's nothing else for them to do. It's not that great of a bow. So in total, how to get high rounds, you just need time and a strategy and you will be set. And just make sure you're actually paying attention and you're thinking about what you're doing. 
So hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully you guys can go out and get a high round three player, four player, two or a solo, like I said, and just follow the strategy. This is one of the fastest places in the game. I haven't found anything else. Plus you don't get carpenters, only max ammo, insta kill, double points, and nukes. Remember, do not hit the box more than you need to because you will get fire cells as soon as that box teleports away. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.